I know it can be difficult speaking from the heart. Just pretend we aren't here. Look into your wife's eyes and tell her exactly how you feel. Bill's leaving Katie. Yeah, he's probably telling her right now. For you. Thomas, you know how connected we are. You know how much I love him. The question is, how much does he love you? Enough to walk away from Katie tonight? Oh, we don't need any readings tonight. Reverend, you can, you can put away your Bible. What Katie and I need is to look into each other's eyes and promise that no matter what happens, we will always love each other. And I do promise you that, Katie. Because you're the woman who, who opened my heart. Who taught me how to care for somebody else. How to love. It has been... Uh, quite a journey from our wedding day to now. So what can I pledge to you now that I didn't then? Well, on our wedding day, I didn't know that we would hurt each other. I don't like it. But I know that it's... I know that it happens when you open your heart to someone. When I hurt you, when I disappoint you, when I let you down, it kills me. And if you remember anything from what I say tonight, please remember that. I know. When I look into your beautiful blue eyes, I really can't imagine my life without you. Your passion, your, your friendship, your advice, which you give me whether I ask for it or not. You don't have to imagine your life without me, Bill. That's what tonight is all about. Yes. I do love you, my Katie. And I vow that I will always be honest with you. Even when it's difficult. I vow in front of our, our family and friends and, and the reverend that no matter what happens, no matter what the future holds, no matter where life takes us, I will always love you. Turn, right? By all means. First, I just, um, I want to thank you for putting up with this. I know you were caught off guard, and I know that standing up in front of our friends and family and expressing your feelings isn't exactly something that you're comfortable with, so I just want you to know how happy you've made me tonight. We've been through so much. And I thought it might be a good idea to remind ourselves of what we have together so we don't forget that what we have is unique and special and something worth fighting for. I guess what finally made me pull the trigger and plan all this was what was going on with Brooke and Ridge. I just, I saw the look on my sister's face when she finally found her way back to him, and I knew that I couldn't wait one more day without telling you just how important you are to me. You've changed my life in so many ways. Before you, I was lost. I had no focus. I was struggling so hard to make sense 
out of what had become my life. And before you, I felt like I was living half a life, like I had half a heart, a heart that didn't belong to me, a heart that I didn't feel I had a right to. But you showed me that I did. You made me start using it. You made my heart make sense. You make my heart whole. You gave me a whole life. And I know that we've had challenges and it may sound crazy, but, but I'm almost grateful for them because it proves to me just how strong we are. Because of those challenges, I know without a doubt that we can overcome anything together. Marriage isn't easy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and sometimes it does seem easier to walk away. <sighs> and I know that I, I've hurt you. I know that there have been times when you felt like I betrayed you. When I walked away. I just want you to know that I never abandoned you, Bill. I never walked away from you in my heart. I never stopped fighting for you or for us, and I never will. Tonight, we put all of that in the past. Not to forget about it, but to learn from it. This is a renewal this is a fresh start. I feel like I'm looking at you for the first time. And you look amazing. We only have this moment right now. But we can make it last a lifetime. Our future starts tonight. Pledged your love to each other, recommitted to your marriage. I am happy to once again pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Bill, please kiss your bride. Imagine what I would have hoped. This was sprung on me. But you're glad we did it, right? I come home to a house full of people. To my wife surprising me with, we're renewing our wedding vows. That isn't something you surprise someone with. Not someone like me. I thought it would be romantic. Maybe I had other things to do tonight. Got this huge board meeting tomorrow. Maybe I needed to talk to my wife about things, maybe, maybe private things, not things that you discuss in front of family and friends. I'm sorry, I didn't. I wasn't thinking about no, that. No, okay, you weren't thinking. Why, why, why do you? Why are you conducting this marriage as though I'm not in it? What? I don't really know what to say. I I thought that you would be happy that I was reaching out and. And trying to make a fresh start for us. I know your heart was in the right place. I'm sorry, Katie. This wasn't the last thing I expected to walk in on. Uh, okay, I, 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 I never wanted to upset you. I just I wanted to put the bad stuff in the past and, and move forward. I, I can't. 
believe you're angry. I'm not angry. I just don't understand you sometimes. The way your mind works. You know, this is not something that you can just spring on me. I mean, you know how I am. It was a mistake, Katie. Reminding ourselves how we how we feel about each other. And that wasn't a mistake. And it's important to me that you know how much I love you, that I meant every single word I said tonight. And I heard everything that you said to me, and it impacted me, Katie. More than you. Makes it that much harder for me to think of living my life without you. Oh. oh my God. Is that what this is about? I mean, Bill, my health is fine. I mean, when I when I mentioned my heart, I I, I didn't want you to start worrying about living your life without me. That we have many, many years together. I mean, oh God. I'm so sorry. You're right. I, I can be such an, an idiot sometimes. I never, ever should have surprised you like this. I should have known how you would feel. <sighs> no. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, everything, uh, everything is going to be okay. Of course it is. Listen, I'm not going to pretend like my heart isn't an issue, but... The point is, we can't, we can't think about that now. We just have to live in this moment. You know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. Why don't you... Let's just pretend like this night ever, never happened, okay? You can you can go outside, you can come back in, and, and no one will be here. Just me. Just me. And I'll be waiting for you. In our bed. Waiting for my heart. You can take your time, you know, maybe work on your speech for tomorrow, pour yourself a drink, get yourself together, and then come find me. And we can say whatever we need to each other. 